Hello, this is Mark Zavatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how to use some of the new Dynamics features in MuseScore Studio 4.5. I mean, MuseScore has always supported Dynamics, but there's some new features designed to make them easier to enter and manipulate. So one of them is there is now a shortcut, Control D, that allows you to easily enter a dynamic into your score. Just select a note, press Control D, and you get a box where you can just type the dynamic, like say MF, or you can actually uh, select it from the pop-up here just by clicking that pop-up. And now you'll also see that there's handles to either side. If I take that handle on the right and drag it, you'll see that I can extend a hairpin from it, uh, and it defaults to being a crescendo here, and if I, you know, then enter uh, an MF right after that, because it's ready for me to enter that ending dynamic, I get the dynamic there. However, if I click, say, a quieter dynamic, and hey, there's nothing quieter than PP. Well, yes, there is. Just click the little arrow, arrow there. If I change it to PPP, the hairpin turns itself into a diminuendo. This idea that you can change dynamics doesn't only apply when you're doing this. You can take any dynamic, like one you've already entered, like this MF here, click it, and the pop-up appears, and you can change it to MP just as easily. So there's more to it than this. There's uh, more stuff that goes on. For instance, the ability to press Shift uh, right and left to move uh, dynamics left and right within a measure and have the hairpins automatically follow. Some of this has been there before. Some of it's been refined some for 4.5. So I encourage you to check it out. And as always, for more information, uh, check out my online course, Mastering MuseScore 4.